the middle of January and here is the tulip tree and it is full bloom right now and let's see if you can see the house I'll bring it down you can see it's pretty tall I'd say probably about 30 feet tall that we're looking up at and it's gorgeous and I just noticed this the other day when I saw all the tulips on the floor, on the ground. So it's quite beautiful. We had a really warm winter. It started off cold and then it came warm. And then around Christmas time, a couple weeks around Christmas time, we had lots of rain. So I'm thinking that's why this is blooming about a month earlier. And then we had beautiful, really warm weather. I'll show you the ground here. I noticed a few of these on my roof. And then a couple of days ago, they started all coming down on the ground. And it was really funny because I didn't even notice that they were budding because it's so far up on the tree. Ground. It's just beautiful when it's all over the ground. The correct term is the Tabibua tree, and it is, uh, the nickname is actually trumpet tree, not the angel's trumpet. These little purple flowers are blooming now too in January, and I'm not quite sure what they are. They're like a violet but they're on a huge bush. They're really beautiful. And this is a no care plant. I don't do anything to this plant. And it just grows like crazy. And you can break it off and just put it right in the ground. And that bush is about five feet tall right now. Let's see if I can get a better view of the tulip tree from here. This is the tulip tree. And it's really huge. And it's funny because the lower branches don't have any flowers and they've kept their leaves. It's just the upper branches. And I think the buds have caused the leaves to fall. But that's just beautiful right now. I wish I could smell it, it's too far up to smell. My climbing rose has a few little buds on it as well. And then this plant, and again, I don't know what this is called. It almost looks like a salvia, but it's a huge bush, about six to eight feet tall. And it has these beautiful purple stalks on it. There's some up really tall here. With my roses. The climbing roses. That's an antique climbing rose. The antiques I found grow better in the Florida soil. I wish I knew the name of this thing. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. It's got these huge, gorgeous leaves. It's doesn't seem to be too woody of a stem. It's more of a tropical. In the side yard behind the pool, I have some of these star clusters that are just forming buds right now, which are real exciting. So I'm so excited about this. This is the first year I had planted them and this is the first bud I got off them. And I did see a few weeks back 
Barbosa cherry had some blooms on it as well. But then I was looking yesterday and my angel's trumpets are starting to bloom. I have buds and then this one just came out today. Let me turn around and get in here so you can see it. Here is the angel's trumpet. And I'm gonna have to trim back this and even tie it back. I can't even walk through here from all this growth this summer. This was a little side path and it has filled in like crazy. So I've gotta tie back these plants so I can even walk back here. But look how gorgeous that is. Wow. That's the angel's trumpet. And I planted three or four of them, I think. This grew in six months. It grew about five feet and then bloomed. And then also what's blooming right now is a plum tree right here. This has quite a bit of blossoms on it too. So for January, we have a lot going on in the yard. And this is a bleeding heart vine and it is growing up this tree and is still blooming right here. Let's see, I'll show you another right up here. So we have little red vines growing or little red flowers up the tree. Here's a close up of the bleeding heart vine. This is what they call down in Florida, bleeding heart. It's a bleeding heart vine. And the crinum lilies are blooming beautiful too. And these are pretty huge. This patch I've had for uh, maybe 20 years. And they're huge. And this is their month to shine. And actually they bloom longer than a month, but right now they're just starting. And they're beautiful and they're huge. That is bigger than a dinner plate. Let's see if I can get it close up. I've got one on the ground here. I'll get it close up. No. These smell amazing. You can see it's bigger. It's huge. Which is amazing. They're beautiful. If you look on the information under the video, I will list the names of the plants that I do know, and I apologize for not being able to remember them uh, in advance. And thank you for, for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.